Hi, my name is Usama Imdad. I will show you a demo of a software built using Python 3 and PyQt5. The purpose of this software is to analyze microscopic images of A and B masked during its fugal creation process. It analyzes those images and generates a PDF report. So let's start. On start, it shows the sample buttons. For now, I only added a temporary button for testing. But in real time, there can be multiple buttons naming A or B or C mascot. As each sample has different sizes of crystals, so different buttons here help the software to easily analyze samples. So for example, if I select sample 1, it will take me to this page where it is asking me to select the magnification. Here are general magnification values which are generally available in all type of microscopes. We will select that magnification on which microscopic image is taken. I will select 10x for my case. Under this I have two more options from microscope or from directory. If you have a USB microscope you can attach directly to your system and analyze it. Otherwise you can select image from directory. So let's see the microscope first. We can select the microscope using drop down menu. I don't have any microscope attached to my system. That's why it is showing me only one camera which is my webcam. Under the camera we can see the scale which is telling us how wide 50 micrometer looks like on the camera. It gives basic overview of sizes of crystals. For 10x magnification the crystal size would be that green length wide. As I don't have a microscope attach, attached so let's pick a sample from a directory. The detections are shown in red color. We can change the detection by changing the threshold slider. You can see the original image here. The detection is important to identify shapes and sizes of the crystals. If you are satisfied with the detections, here you can click on process button to start generating the report. Otherwise you can click on advance for further changes. There are multiple options I added here. Here is the auto button which is the same algorithm software uses for the first detection which you saw in previous tab. I have multiple options to rectify the auto algorithm mistakes. For example, if I want to deselect an unwanted crystal, I can select this tool and draw a rectangle on this crystal and the selection will be removed. Otherwise, if I missed an uh, important crystal which was very important for my report I can use this polygon tool to select that crystal. There are many algorithms which can be tried for better results. I can specify the max size of crystal here which will tell the software to deselect every crystal which size has greater than this value. I also have an AI detection button which uses UNET model for segmentation of this image. When we click this, it says bleed fade as it takes 2 to 3 seconds depending on the system. Here is the result of air detection. It also makes mistakes which we can rectify using tools above. So here it is. Here I removed the, remove the mistake. We can click the process button to process the image. Here is the original image. We can see the uh, resultant image here. You can see the uh, image type and uh, size of width in microns. You can also see the report here. Uh, you can see the uh, you can see different types of data. You can see the count of every type of shape here and uh, uh, max width, min size, uh, length and width of uh, every shape. You can also print print it or save it. Uh, you can go to home to view previous results 